everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is a part two of the Louise Villaroma bridal lookbook. Um, for those of you that watched my De Beers one, that was, oh my God, I have conditioner in my ear. So basically it's Sunday and all the family are down for a barbecue. Everyone's down from London. I had my hair and rollers, no makeup on, everybody turned up an hour early. So I literally threw makeup at my face. So if it looks bad, that is why. And I've barely got any on and my hair is half done. So, and now I've just realized I've got conditioner in my hair because I put a conditioning treatment in my hair. Yeah, and I really want to get this done so I can join the family. But I listened to your feedback from the last video. So many of you love that De Beers lookbook and I love creating these kind of creative videos. But a few of you, not many, a few of you said that you prefer these kind of hauls. So I really wanted to listen to what you said and I like making these as well because I get to like chat and talk about everything in detail. So I wanted to, I'm filming all this tomorrow for the lookbook. Then I'm going to a Dior dinner and then we're basically going to have to do an all-nighter to get this all done for the next day. So please go check it out. I'll leave the link to that lookbook below and the blog post. Please go check it out because we would have worked really hard. I hope it all goes well. But I just want to squeeze this in and today was the only day I get to do it. So I just wanted to like talk about it and show you everything. I'm a little bit like bummed because those of you that follow me on Instagram know that I got my new car stolen. Like my finally got my dream car. Um... Long story short, I'll quickly tell you, I emptied the car when I got out, because I always do, but I didn't realise, because Paris had taken it to London and I'd driven it back from London, I didn't realise that he had a boot full of his stuff. He had a bell staff jacket that I'd bought him, like one that you can't get anymore. He had loads of clothes, loads of shoes, and as I was putting this all together, I realised like I had, my, I had like a sunken feeling because I had a huge suitcase from the De Beers shoe and two Cooples bags and like loads of other little bits, like a few of my shoes had fallen out and I was walking in with like shoes, my dog. And I thought I'd taken everything out. I realised that my pink Prada here bag, which I took to that shoot, was in one of the Cooples bags. And then I realised I've left one of those, the small Cooples bags. And I've barely worn that bag. I'll put a picture here of it. So yeah, a little bit gutted, but it is only a bag and it could have been worse. It could have been like a Birkin, which is so much more. And the insurance only covered us for a hundred pounds. So now we have to have the palaver of the house insurance. It's a huge spider up there. So yeah, all of this um, stuff was gonna go so perfect with my pink here bag, which is also from Louise Villaroma. So I'm going to be using this one in replacement because this is my only like baby pink bag. So anyone with a pink Prada here hear or thinking about getting it, sorry I can't include it but some thieves girlfriends probably walking around with it. People that buy bags like, like, you know, like clearly because it's been stolen, don't buy that stuff. You're going to get the worst karma. So I hope the handle breaks and it falls in a dirty puddle or whoever's wearing that right now. So I'm going to be using this, which I don't even think goes as well with all of these, even though it's the same colour. This is a very elegant, pretty bag, whereas I loved how, like, edgy the Prada was. So, like, for example, I probably wouldn't wear that with that, so you'll have to excuse me. I really wanted to wear the Prada here, but I don't have the Prada here, so I'm going to use this one. I'm not annoyed about it. I only found out five minutes ago, so just let me vent. Tomorrow I'll be over it. I'll get a new one on the insurance. But still, it's not nice, is it? so awful that's happened to me. I'm just having a bit of a moment because I just realised loads of my other stuff was stolen. Okay, let's get on with the video. So let's start off with this dress. This is one of my favourite things in the whole haul. And this should be different, well it is different to the other video because the last one is what to wear to a wedding and focusing on jewellery. This one is going to be focused on no jewellery, don't even have a pair of earrings in bags, shoes, and not only what to wear to a wedding, but I'm also going to be covering what to wear to a hen party as a friend, what to wear to a hen party as the bride, what to wear for like a beach wedding, like there's some a lot of bride um, inspo in here. So let's start off with this dress. Uh, this dress is one of my favourite things in the whole entire haul, and probably one of the best dresses, excuse me, one of the best dresses that I've ever had. I love it, it's so me. Years ago I saw um, a vintage skirt that practically looked like the bottom half of this dress, as you can see now, and I re always regretted not buying it. My friend Fran made me a skirt inspired by that vintage skirt, but the way that the um, wrap over was, wasn't in the right place, so I haven't actually worn it, but I'll take a picture on the floor and I'll, and I'll share it here. So this is exactly what I was looking for. I would have preferred it, you know how I always say go for a skirt and top over a dress because you can wear it more? This would have been amazing if it was a skirt and I could wear it with my own white shirt, but with that said, you'll see that it's like asymmetric and you couldn't achieve this kind of look with a skirt, so 
I buckled for this and I love it. I just know I'm going to wear it all the time, just like this. If you're small chested, I shouldn't really open it because I'm not, you can have it open with long necklaces and it'll look amazing. I've just got a bralette on because obviously that's like a V triangle as opposed to a bra. Um, and it looks perfect and I actually keep it wrapped like that and it stays or you could probably just put a little pin or something like that. So I think this is perfect for like a hen, like a bride on a hen. This is totally what I would wear as a hen. I would put like my new leather jacket. Don't judge me for the leather jacket, we'll talk about it later. I know I'm going to get so much crap for getting another leather jacket. But I like it, it's my life, okay? So, back to the dress. I would wear that with a leather jacket, heels, wear it out with the girls. If I was having like a um, like a registry office reception, I could totally see myself wearing something like this for like a casual legal wedding or something after your big wedding. For someone that wanted like beach boho vibes, you know the kind of bride that wants something really understated. I think this is so chic for that and you could wear it just all year round and I think you could accessorise it with like a denim jacket. You can accessorise it with, style it I mean, with a black leather jacket. I just think it's so lovely. Um, the brand is Jack Jacquemus, I think. It was um, a brand that I'd never heard of before. But since discovering this dress, I've actually seen it everywhere. I've seen like videos of him on Instagram, like randomly pop up when I'm not even following. And I really love the brand. It's like I've discovered it through scouring Louise Viroma and finding this. Um, so that's that one. The next one I have is this Zimmerman top. So when I saw this Zimmerman top, I actually saw it on the Zimmerman Instagram with the high-waisted skirt and I thought, oh, I love this, but I completely wrote it off because I can't wear this kind of like crop top. But actually the maxi skirt is like a frill when you can have it really high. So if I ever come across that, I'm definitely getting it because I think that's so nice. This also comes in matching trousers and um, you can just wear it with any high-waisted. If I had a flat stomach, I'd be wearing this all day long with a pair of Levi's with like my tummy out, but obviously I can't do that. But I just think it looks great on everyone. And considering how high it is and how much it shows, I was really shocked that this actually looked nice on me and it feels nice. You can all the paint on my nails. We painted the floor yet last night. And I'm really impressed with this. I can wear it with no bra because Zimmerman is just made so well. Like some of them, I'll get to the play suit later. It's so expensive, like this play suit is like between five and six hundred pounds and you know, you can get a white place play suit elsewhere but the quality of Zimmerman, it is there, it really is there and you see it in real life. Like this looks amazing on camera but in real life it is just a ten out of ten and they fit so well and there is there really is something about Zimmerman where everything is made to perfection, like they consider everything so I am a huge fan. And really pleased how how this turned out. So I, because they didn't have the trousers or the maxi skirt skirt on um, Louis Roma, I'm going to pair it with these Rocha super super wide leg yellow trousers. I'm a huge fan of yellow. I always say that I love yellow on all tones of skin, especially dark girls. And the Harry and Meghan wedding. I don't want to start talking about it because I'm going to talk about it all the time, like this whole hour. But I actually wasn't going to watch it and was blown away by like how emotional it was and I'm just such a Harry fan, I really did love it and how many people wore yellow at the wedding. So yeah, definitely an amazing outfit for a wedding I think, this with this. These are super, super high so I can actually get away with wearing it with this and I just think these are so sensational, they're uber long, uber wide, they have pockets, such a statement. And I really love them. And I think wearing this with like a block green, block white, block yellow, hopefully it gives you some inspiration to kind of put your own thing together. And again, the YSL leather jacket goes really nice with that for like a more of a casual look. You know, I've just realised that pretty much everything I have in this haul are things that I can't pronounce. I was trying to make up an excuse, but you know... There's just some things I can't pronounce, and that is probably everything in this haul. This is one of the few rare things in this, not rare things, one of the, my mind's gone, I haven't even had any breakfast. Everyone hates it when I'm being really scatty, and I'm being scatty in this video just because I know, one, I'm just annoyed that someone's got my Prada bag, and two, everyone else is outside, so I'm trying to focus. So this is another name, Giambas, 
Batista Vali. I know that so many people get annoyed. I see it with other YouTubers that people get so irate when people can't pronounce things. Just relax, okay? It's just a word. And when it's not an English word or, you know, just let's not get angry about that, okay? This is this dress isn't mine. It's so expensive. I think it was like £1,500. But I really wanted to shoot like a really glamorous dress. And, you know, maybe perhaps some people are watching this that can afford this dress. And maybe it'll just give you some inspo. And I'll link a few things on Elise Roma that are similar. But I loved a dropped hem on a dress. I really, really do. And I just love... I used to hate green, but I'm like becoming a real fan. Just because I actually think it suits my skin tone. But you can just feel the luxury in this dress. Like the collar is like layers of different fabric. Like four layers of different fabric. Like that's the difference I guess with luxury. And all this is so layered. And it fits like a dream. It's so beautiful. And I just wanted one expensive swishy dress. But hopefully you'll get a lot of inspiration from that. I just think this is so perfect for, you know, if you was going to wear like Meghan and Harry. How perfect would that be? So yeah, love that one. And I think that's going to look really good on the lookbook. The next one, so this is the play suit. I actually tried this on in Zimmerman, the exact same one, but beige with flowers. And I actually, I saw it on Louise Villarema first, and I thought, oh, I'm a bit clumsy with white, let me see if I can find another one. Went to Zimmerman and went to buy it in there, but I actually think I preferred the white one, and now it's, it's arrived. I really, really love it. I shared it on Instagram stories, putting it on with a leather jacket. And this is actually like a blushy, very, very pale pink, um, like white tone which you can't see here it's called ivory but it's got like a pink blush tone to it which you definitely would look white on here because of all the light so this is what I mean by like five six hundred pounds for a play suit but you, it, the fit is there like it's just so amazing and I know that there are so many Zimmerman dupes but I just really really love it and I with all my Zimmerman stuff like I've kept the bits that I got last summer and I'm still going to wear them so it is it is lovely that like you do get what you pay for. I think this is a perfect look for, again, a bride on like a boho wedding, if you're getting married abroad, like Ibiza, the, the Caribbean. How nice to be like bridal the whole week and wear like white. I think that's really nice, or like the day before, or a lunch after your wedding. I know when I had my wedding, it was three days long, and I really struggled to see what look I wanted. And I ended up wearing like a baby blue lace dress, like very similar to this one actually that I'm going to show you. But how nice for something like this. I think it's really nice. Also, the perfect bridal hen day or night out, and this looks so good with the YSL leather jacket again. I love buying up anything feminine. I bought this for myself about a month ago now and I've just been saving it for my holiday and saving it for this lookbook. So many people, I shared it in another video and so many people are like, oh, I'd never pay that for like a beach dress. Honestly, in I, I would wear this to the beach, but it is too it is way nicer. Like you could wear this on a night out. You can definitely wear this to a wedding. Okay, not like a super, I'm mentioning Megan's wedding again. I wouldn't wear it to that kind of wedding, but I go to lots of weddings that are really casual. I've been to weddings on the beach. Dressing for a wedding can be so, they might ask you to wear all white, they might ask you to wear all black, they might ask you to wear cocktail, they, it might be on a beach and it's a friend that's like a, a complete hippie and they want you to wear whatever you want. Yes, you shouldn't wear red, white or black, but some sometimes you do or sometimes you can. This is definitely an option for a casual wedding, but the main reason that I'm showing you this is I think this is the perfect friend hen party night out. I would wear this with... Just some black heels, the black leather jacket, and I love it. It fits really nice, and I'm really happy of that one. And for Zimmerman, it's like in the 400 range, so it wasn't that bad. And I used a gift, um, a discount code for Louise Ray Roman. I got a discount on this, and it was a public one. All the discount codes that I use for Louise Ray Roma are not mine. They're like they're not just for me. They're they're public. So if there's any discounts at the moment, I'll put it in the just dis uh, description box below. I've already shown you this one just like this in another vlog, but this is the perfect fit. I thought that a size 10 wouldn't fit me, and it does. It really is the perfect fit. Again, I think this is the perfect look for a bride on a hen night, or if you're going to um, as a guest in the evening, because I really wanted to make sure I included about some, some outfits for the evening when you're not a, a day guest for a wedding. And don't forget, this is all going to be in the lookbook, so don't forget to check that out. 
I love baby blue dresses and I love anything off the shoulder because I hate this part of my arm and it allows me to get my arms out, which is also why I love that one. It allows me to get my arms out covering the worst bits. This is very similar to the dress I wore. I'll put a picture up here of me if I can find one that I wore to the second day of my wedding. So I think that's a really nice option. This is self-portrait. So self-portrait we know is like the go-to for a wedding guest outfit, but I really, really liked this one. And I do stay away from self-portrait, sorry, like to self-portrait, but it is become one of those dresses where you know that someone's going to wear one. But why not? Who cares when it is an amazing dress that you really like? And yes, there are dupes, but they're not going to fit as well. I actually really like the way self-portrait fits me and you're not going to get the same quality. And if there is someone else wearing it, then you can have a nice photo together and I guarantee that you've worn it differently. So that's another lovely one and I'd wear that with flats in the day. I would wear that with heels to a wedding. This is another one that I thought would be really nice for like a day hem party look. This would be nice for a evening look. The last evening party I went to, I wore a black dress. Di La Valley. Uh, this is a brand that I hadn't heard before, but I really love this dress. I love how it's um, opaque with a point here and then goes transparent with frills. I really love that. I think it looks really nice with flats and a leather jacket or with heels and a smaller bag in the evening. Like this. Wallet on a chain powder bag. I think that's such an amazing bag. Really good price point. Goes really. I love wearing a wallet and a chain out for shopping with jeans, but it's just the go-to. I always recommend having a wallet and a chain. They're good for traveling, good for hands-free shopping. You don't need much when you go shopping and perfect for like a wedding bag or an evening bag. Definitely recommend always having a wallet and a chain. So just really like this dress. I think it's really flattering. My white Bauman jacket, which I love. I love the longer length and just nice to drape over the shoulders with pretty much any one of these looks. It's just so chic. Go-to jacket, looks fab with everything. Okay, now for the jacket. I know I get so many comments and so many people messaging me saying that I don't need another jacket. I already have a St. Laurent jacket. It's getting worse, isn't it? I have a St. Laurent jacket like this, but in my defense, it's a different leather and it has tassels. And I love the classic. For me, Saint Laurent do the best leather jackets. Acne is up there and so is Bauman. Bauman is a bit statement and sometimes they can date and it's not good for every day. But I love the Saint Laurent. They are super small. My other one is very soft leather, leather and I had to go up a size to a size 40. This one is just insane. I have lots of room in here, I must admit. But I want, if I'm getting an expensive leather jacket like this, I want to be able to wear a hoodie underneath or some layers. I don't want to feel restricted. I want it big enough to drape over my shoulders. So I actually had to go for a 42, which is a 14, which I am not. But it's very cropped, so I wanted the extra length. It has this nice detail on the side. This is just so me. I did really like this. I love the whole pilot or like navy kind of theme, I, lo I love that, I can't help it, I always have done. I love the leather and I've just been looking at Saint Laurent leather jackets. I still love my other one, it, I love how light it is, the leather's like gone really crinkly which I love and I love the tassels. For me it's completely different and I love leather jackets, I wear them every day, I wear them all the time when I go out in the evening and it's just a thing that I like and there's nothing you're gonna to say to make me stop getting them because I love leather jackets. It's like my thing, I like them. Another bag is this pearl Fendi bag. I'll leave all the exact names and links below, of course. I fell in love with the mini Fendi peekaboo with the pearls, but I just thought I'd go for something a bit different because I already have two peekaboos and I just thought I'd try out like a different um, style and I just loved how this was so, small but I knew it's going to be practical when it is and you can pop the chain inside and just have like a little top handle depending on how you wrap it around inside and I just thought it was a nice change and just a classic black bag to go with everything and the pearls are just a really nice touch and I really really love that bag. So we're going to look at a few um, shoes. I love my black velvet Mew Mews so, and I've been wearing them a lot so I can give you some feedback about them. Clearly I'm a fan because I've then gone and got the baby pink. I accidentally, the, the other ones were a gift from Mew Mew and I said to them 39 or 39 and a half because I can't stand it when my feet are at the edge and 
they do the right thing and sent me the bigger one, but they are a little bit too big with my exact size. So Miu Miu is true to size in all shoes, FYI. With the slightly perfect fit of the 39, they are a little bit more comfortable. They are not the most, and this is going to sound like they're not uncomfortable because they absolutely are. They are not a 10 out of 10 for comfort, just to be brutally honest. But I don't want you to think they're not comfortable because they absolutely are. The velvet's really comfortable. I can wear them all day long. I was just about to say, but they're not as comfortable as my Givenchy sliders. My Givenchy sliders were in the back. And I knew that they were in the back because I'd been putting them on every now and again in between heels for the shoot and they were under the passenger seat. And I am gutted. Paris was cheering when he found out about that because he hates them. But I'm so gutted. And I'm going on holiday tomorrow and I'm honestly so gutted that them sliders have gone. Oh, it's so gutting when someone steals your stuff. It really is. And I am very aware that they're just material things. But you can't just be like, oh well, because then if you were really like that, you wouldn't value your things. When someone, when something really does happen, yeah, it's not the same feeling, but I'm sure you know it's just so violating and gutting when someone steals your bits. And I'm going on holiday, so I don't even have time to replace anything. So, yeah, these will just go so nice with the red. I love pink and red. So nice with the pink, with the white play suit, especially because it's got a pink undertone. And I love wearing flats because I have a lot of trouble with my feet. And I love, like, pretty flats like this. And these are, like... I'm such a fan of these, you know I love pearls, I love that velvet, thoroughly recommend, buy or true to size. Next up I have the Hang Easy flats, I would totally wear these for a wedding, imagine if you're like a mum or you're pregnant and you want to wear Hang Easy but your feet just can't handle it, from the front they look like the heels anyway. Um, I, I went to a wedding once in the middle of nowhere in a castle and I couldn't, I just wanted to take my shoes off but I would never do that at a wedding. And if I ever go to somewhere like that again, I would totally wear these flats. I would totally wear these to a wedding. Um, and I just think they're nice for like a hen trip. And you can't go wrong, can you, with Minono Hangisi. And I just, I'm such a fan of slipper shoes. And then I've just got my Minolos in every single colour. The BBs, my Nadira, just because they're like the heels that I wear. So um, this is going to come out any second. So I think we like whizzed through that quite good. Don't forget to check out the lookbook so you can see me like swishing and see it. Like I think that you'd get more inspiration from that and then this is where you get all the information from. So I hope that you had a nice mix of blog post, lookbook and this. Hopefully that's more than enough information from you. Let me know your favourite look below and I hope you enjoyed this haul and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I nailed that one, didn't I? Oh my God. Oh my god, look what I've just found. Oh my god, I found it! This was behind the bar! And I was like, please. And I, I like threw it over, thinking it was empty, and I felt something heavy. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so there's no thief's girlfriend walking around with this bag. Oh, I'm so happy! Okay, there you go. Look how nice that goes. Oh, what a relief. What a relief. Now I've got to go and tell Paris that I found it. Come on. Sit. <laughs> Come here. Sit. Sit. Oh, good girl. Right, that's what's good.